Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine, and today I have some inspiration to share using the September 2023 Let's Stamp Together kit. So I'm just pulling everything out of the packet here to get a look at the products that are inside. These die cuts and stamp sets are so super cute, and I knew immediately that I wanted to color on my die cuts. So I'm going to take the inside piece, the main die cut, and die cut it from some white cardstock. When you die cut them, the centers on the cups pop out, so I'm going to go ahead and remove them so they're not in the way when I start my coloring. Now I can start using my Copic markers to color in the image. If you have never colored on your die cuts before, it is really actually pretty easy and fun to do. It also gives it a very unique look, almost like no line stamping because we're not going to have any black lines on our image. I picked out a set of four colors that I'm going to use to color in my little pumpkin cup. I'm using E08, YR07, YR16, and YR15. So what I did is I followed along the die cut lines to add the darkest shade, which is that E08, and then filled it in and blended with the rest of the colors. So I have some highlights in there and I also have my shadow areas. I approach coloring my die cuts just like I would as if this was a stamped image. And it's actually kind of a bonus because you don't have to worry about, you know, is your black ink dry? Is it going to bleed? You kind of have a little bit more freedom, I feel, when you're coloring on just your die cut. Now I'm going to color the top or the, what is that, the whipped cream or the foam that goes on the top of this. And for that, I'm using E55, E53, and E51. Once again, adding the darkest shade right where the die cut line is. And then I'm adding just little dots with an E57 to give it the look of sprinkles. I'm going to bring in my next little cup here that I have that has the straw in it. For this one, I am using BG49, BG15, and BG23. So I'm going to keep the highlight area in the center, which means my darkest shade, the BG49, is going to be on the outside edges. Once again, I'm going to bring in that E55 and 53 and 51 to add just a little hint of uh, color into the foam that's on top and then the E57 for little sprinkles because really these sprinkles did it for me. I think it just really helped kind of add more cuteness to these cups. Now I have my last cup here. This one I wanted to make tan. So I have the E57 E55 and E53. Now, if you ever struggle blending your colors together, you can do tip to tip, which means just taking your lighter color and grabbing some color off of the tip of the previous color you did. And that like right there, I was just doing some tip to tip coloring and that'll help blend it a little bit. Now, as I finished this, I, I wanted to go a little bit darker because I want the band to be more of a light color. So I went back over those areas with the E57 and E55, and I left that there. I don't have as strong of a highlight as I did before. Then this one is just going to be E53 and E51. And I think these cups just turned out super darling. Now we do have these centers that I'm going to be popping back in. So I'll take the first cup there, flip it over so I have the back side facing up, and then I'm going to be placing those pieces back in. Once I have them in place, I'm going to just take some tape and place it over the back. So it's going to secure everything in place. I did color the pumpkins when I was coloring my cup before, and I didn't do a ton of shading on those. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna pop that heart right back in the middle, and then that little pumpkin that's gonna go in the center, and then add some tape behind that. On the pumpkin cup on the handle of it, there is still some white cardstock that is in there and that is how the die cuts it out, but they're only connected with kind of two little pieces. So I'm going inside of the handle, taking my scissors and just snipping those corners. So it's going to make it more of an open area on the handle. For my card front, I'm going to die cut a panel of white cardstock from the Infinity Postage Stamps die just to give this a fun border. I'm gonna keep the card fairly clean and simple. I'm placing that piece of cardstock in my Misty tool and I'm lining up the sentiment warm wishes. Warm will be at the top and wishes will be towards the bottom and then my cups are going to be in the center. 
I'm going to ink these up with a nutmeg ink from Concord and Ninth. I really like the dark brown tone because I think it just ties in really well with kind of this fall theme that I have with my cups. On the back of that postage stamp die cut, I'm adding some foam tape. So it's going to give it a little dimension. And I added it to a piece of cardstock. This is a burgundy color. I can't remember where it's from or what color it is, but I added it to a burgundy cardstock. So here I'm going ahead and adding foam tape to the back of my cup. So I have one in the center to start with, and I'm going to have my cups overlapping, but I wanted them to be fairly symmetrical on each side. So I'm going to do some creative freedom here. I'm going to actually trim off the handle of my pumpkin cup. That way it's not sticking off of the edge because on the left hand side, I don't have anything really sticking out. Then I'm just going to add foam tape to the right hand side since that is the part of the cup that is not going to be overlapping. I'll start with my center cup, remove the foam tape or the backing of the foam tape, and I'm going to center that as best as I can between the left and right margin and also my sentiment. I'll remove the backing for my other cup here on the left hand side. The one side has foam tape and the other side that's going to overlap my cup is going to get some liquid glue. And the same thing with my pumpkin cup. I have the foam tape on the right hand side of the cup and I'll just add some liquid glue to the left hand side. So this background looks really pretty, but I just wasn't feeling it. And you know how something just doesn't quite sit right with you. So I decided to completely trim off that cardstock. I'm taking my scissors and I'm going right underneath the postage stamp die cut. So pretty much right up to the foam tape and I'm cutting off all of that red cardstock. I found a color in my stash. This is Spiced Cider from Concord and Ninth. And immediately when I put this together, it felt right. This really brought it together for me. It just kind of matched the tone of my colors that I used with my coloring. So I was much happier with these results. So that will finish off my card project. I hope this has inspired you to try coloring on your die cuts because it really is a lot of fun and gives your cards such a unique look. Thank you so much for joining us today. 